You've just seen some of the buildings and structures that have been built around the region over the past hundred years or so. But of course, architects and engineers have been shaping the world around us for much longer than that. Whilst most of us understand the part architects play in all of this, who can say with certainty they understand the role of the structural engineer? I got a clue. Jars, things and stuff. No clue. Steel working all sorts of that carry on, not me. Just a builder. I'm like a builder. Structural engineer. It does all good, but I ain't got a clue. I think he would have more or less done the layout of their building. Do they check that everything's safe, like it's not going to fall down? So even here, at the brand new Barnsley Transport Interchange, where structural engineers have played such an important role in the design of the building, very few people seem to know what they actually do. Let's see if we can throw some more light on the subject by looking at the project in more detail. Caroline Thomas was one of these structural engineers working on the building from the very start. The meetings are the very early stage of a project. Um, they'd be workshop sessions between ourselves and the architects and any other key members of the team. Um, and we're trying to sort of draw out of the architect exactly what they want and what they need. And then we're trying to input into that as to how that can actually be achieved structurally and from a buildability context as well. The geometry of the building is very complicated, it's a very organic shape that the architect was looking to achieve um, and so part of our role was helping them to define that shape mathematically. It's quite easy for us as architects to draw that geometry because we don't have to deal with the fine detail of, of the structure that, that, that supports it. Um, five to ten years ago this building probably would not have been feasible. We couldn't have designed the building without, without the structural engineer's ability to produce all the complex engineering solutions which were required. Once the basic design has been agreed, the engineers will create a 3D model of the building structure. This involves a good deal of maths and both practical and theoretical understanding of materials in which structural engineers are highly qualified. The computing power that we've now got available to us enables us to have very complicated structures and complicated shapes that we maybe weren't able to explore so easily when we were doing hand calcs however many years ago and that then enables us to be a bit more creative in the designs that we're working on. The next stage of the project involves defining exactly how the building frame will be constructed. We produce our steelwork layout drawings and our steelwork specification document and that information then gets sent to the steelwork fabricator his role then is to produce the fabrication drawings which define exactly how long each beam is and the connection detail on the end of each structural member. Um, and we went through a long process with them to coordinate how that all fitted together precisely. Um, then the steel sections can be cut at the fabrication works and then delivered to site um, to allow them to erect the steel frame. Um, for a typical building, we might be providing our information maybe four months before it actually starts on site. Um, but in the case of Bunsley Interchange, where it was such a complex shape, it was actually a much longer period than that. But the structural engineer's responsibility doesn't end there. Once construction starts on site, we're still involved. We um, make site visits to check how things are progressing, um, if there's any problems or queries with the contractors to help them understand how all the items are meant to fit together and coordinate on site. Last May when the building opened, we had a crowd of several hundred people who just came in to see the building. We opened it for a day before um, the, the services started on the Sunday and the look on their faces was fantastic. They came in and just were, were wowed away by it. The key for us is we've got something like 12% more people coming through this bus station now than we had with the old thing. So the bottom line's working, more passengers are using the bus station, the town is proud of it and it's kick-started the regeneration of the rest of Barnsley, so it's worked at every level. One of the best things about what we do as structural engineers is there's a, a tangible product at the end of the day. You know, I can go to Barnsley and visit the interchange and stand there and say, I helped make this. As well as buildings, structural engineers are involved in consulting across a wide range of projects, from domestic housing to aircraft design.
Increasingly, structural engineers are becoming more involved in design issues around sustainability and climate change. Their wide range of professional expertise makes them ideally placed to develop this role into the future. Hopefully by now you've got a clearer idea of what the profession is all about. But what's it actually like being a structural engineer? One of the biggest things is getting up every morning and um, knowing that you're going to use your brain. Solving, solving problems, working with um, inspired people. I think I've always enjoyed walking past the buildings or walking through the buildings that I've been involved with. I mean, we work in so many different sectors. We could be designing buildings, um, towers, bridges, you name it. Sustainability is going to push us to sort of think outside the box a bit more and we have to consider more the efficiencies of how you design a building so you can sort of reduce material usage. Climate change is having influences in terms of temperature, flooding, um, all of these things will contribute to structural engineers having more and more of a voice and more and more of an input in the future. Maybe the country will be richer, maybe it'll be poorer, but I think knowledgeable ingenious engineers who can make the best of whatever the situation is could be at an absolute premium in that situation.